three using a burlap mesh bottom, which has already been pre-made with 24 inch strips onto my work form of 18 ties. We're going to use a sign that says Happy Ho Holidays on it. These are called bottle cap signs. They used to be really popular a few years ago. And I don't know if you can still find them or not. I just happen to have some left over, you know, because I'm kind of one of those hoarder type people. So I thought we would use that. And then I'm going to use some ribbon with holly berries and just a green and kind of uh, burgundy striped and then just a solid burgundy. It has a little bit of glitter to it. So this is going to be a quick, simple thing. So let's get started. If you're popping in, uh, give me a hi, a wave. Let me know you're here. And be sure and sprinkle the love to your friends and family by sharing this video. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, bottle cap on. Now the bottle cap had a wire hanger on the back because you could use it as like for a door hanger. But I went ahead and slipped some twist ties in there. And then down below, I punched a couple of holes in the bottom. I have this little hole punch that you can use on metal. And so we're going to go ahead and put that in. I'm going to push my ties away from the center and probably if you've never done wreaths before but the sign is probably one of the hardest part of making a wreath is just getting it centered getting your ties down to the the metal rings below About it is because you can't always see, but but the more you do it, the, the easier it, it gets. Flip this up and grab around and tie it in the back. And when I get this all on, I will show you. work it through your your mesh and don't don't worry if the mesh is uh, crushed a little bit it will you'll fluff it all back up when you're you're all done okay kind of pulling that mesh up from below because it gets it gets caught underneath. Okay. There's the sign on. And then I'm going to turn it around and back. And I'm just going to take, excuse me, I forgot my wire cutters. My wire cutters where I've twisted that on. Turn that under a little bit. And then I'm going to twist. Kind of 
sharp edge under. Just about the normal way. And at this time, I'm going to just use that wire hanger there. And I'm going to, whoops, bring that through that way just to kind of pull it up so it's uh, up at the top a little bit and out of the way. But I'm also going to use that twist tie. For my hanger to hang the wreath with, okay? I'm just going to take my tie and twist it. And this I want to twist really well because it's going to have some weight to it. So you want to make sure it's really twisted good. And just cut those ends off. Okay, there we have that. I'm going to set that aside.